Hey, it's been a long time since I've had one for the books. This is uh, this this is definitely one of them right here, guys. Oh my gosh! Shout out to Denzel, very good friend of mine on Instagram. Thank you very much, Denzel, for hitting me up at about 6.15 at night right now, saying, hey, Mike, I went to Target earlier, and they freshly stocked an entire case of bazookas and ricondos. I'm on my way to see if that's true. Uh, he said he saw that about, like, 12.30, so he hit me up and said, they have them. So you know your boy, Mike the Hunter, is going to go hunt them down. So let's go right now. Oh, my God. Can you hurry up? You're going 10 miles per hour! Someone's gonna get the fix before me! All because of you! This is what I call the thrill of the hunt. Booking it down the freeway, blasting some quiet riot. Come on, feel the noise. That's right, baby. Come on, feel the noise! All right, fellow hunters, this is it. This is the moment. Are they gonna truly be in stock? Or did some scalper come earlier than I did and got all of them? He's ready to take him to his Frankenson's booth. Sell them for 80 each. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Please don't pick anything else up. Don't touch anything else. Where's Bazooka? Shut the fuck up. so empty and some of them were street dated so we had some really really cool legos that came out um, and they're already gone we had an iron man one that had like the full old iron man like series it was like 89 dollars though it's a huge iron man i just found the jackpot an entire case of marvel legends he's checking in the back right now to see if they have any bazookas so hopefully they do yo i did not expect for him to be here I did not expect that. I did not expect Iron Man, zombie Iron Man to be here. They have the entire wave over there. And of course, they didn't have Bazooka on the shelf, but this kind gentleman that works here at a Target, he's on his lunch break, and he's offering to check in the back if they have any bazookas. Yeah, Joe's any more those in the back. No, no bazookas. No bazooka, no yeah, Joe's. No way, remember you I actually you found a, one? Remember I told you around the corner there was a basket full of things? Oh my god! Your lifesaver, bro. In the wild! When I say this one's for the books, I got some shit on my camera. I literally can't, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless! I'm speechless! I can't wait till tomorrow to talk about it. For years, I have been searching for a t-shirt brand that not only fits my style and personality, but also meets my budget. Into the AM is a clothing company based in Southern California. Their team sees clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. They sent me a few t-shirts to try out and I gotta say, they did not disappoint. Their t-shirts hug my body naturally with a material blend of cotton and polyester. This soft, flexible blend offers me a more athletic fit as it hugs around the chest, neck, and shoulders giving me a more bulky look. On top of the comfort, their graphic designs are super vibrant and colorful. Their website offers a multitude of high quality designs that are unique in their own way and just plain awesome to look at. Many designs that blend between nature, science, and space. When wearing these t-shirts, I feel like my outfit stands out more as well as my personality and appreciation for art. Into the AM was kind enough to give you Mike the Hunter fans a 10% store-wide discount with the link in the description below. If you end up grabbing a few you like, be sure to also use the promo code MIKE203. Don't miss out on their constant sales and bundle deals as they can save you a lot of money and get you more bang for your buck. With that being said, let's get on with the action figures. So you finished your, your whole entire dinner. You can go ahead and have one. Yeah! Do you want to just random pick or do you want me to actually tell you which ones are which. And just so you guys know, I'm allergic to peanut butter. 
You're not allergic to peanut butter. You just don't like peanut butter. No, I'm allergic to peanut butter, guys. These right here, they don't have anything in them. They're just plain little chocolate, like like a like a Hershey's bar. Literally like a little Hershey's. You can have one of those. No. Okay, don't touch the chocolates unless you're gonna eat them. I don't, I don't want your little gremlin fingers all over my chocolates. Vanilla cream? That's no. the one you want? No, I didn't. I had that one. Can you, you just poked it again. Stop touching the chocolates. <laughs> you're not putting that one back. I'm sorry, you chose your fate. Chloe, Brielle, <laughs> take it off. <laughs> I will whoop some ass across the entire YouTube platform. <laughs> Stop. What? Hit me, yo. What? Hit me. Oh. 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 Ah. Now that I'm here situated in the collector room, I gotta tell you guys how great of a hunt this actually was last night. Sure enough, I find a freshly stocked Rick Kondo chilling on the shelf, but no bazooka. I said, shit. And I look to my left, there's a toy collector slash target employee doing a little bit of fishing in the toy aisle on his lunch break. I lower the figure and look straight ahead and see the new Snake Eyes and Timber Deluxe Pack just chilling there on its own. The very last one. What the fuck? I'm choking up inside, and meanwhile, there's a nice lady next to me trying to discipline her kid. Please don't pick anything else up. Then, to the left of me, I notice a Target employee. Doing some fishing on his own, doing a little bit of toy hunting, looking at the Marvel Legends. He said, yeah, we were fully stocked earlier. And we had a customer come in who filled his red cart all the way to the top of the same characters of bazookas and recondos. And I asked him, can you scan the, the SKU code to see if there are any bazookas in the back? He said, well, I would, but I'm actually on my lunch break. Me being a people pleaser. Oh, no, 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 you don't, you don't have to do that. I don't want to bother you with your lunch break, bro. He walked all the way to the back corner of the store. He went in and checked. They didn't have any bazookas. With that being noted, we walked all the way back to the toy aisle together, talking about toys. The guy was a DC fan based off of what he was talking about. I also took a look at the Marvel Legends section, and holy hell, they had the entire stock of the What If series. Zombie Iron Man. I said, ah! I'm never going to financially recover from this. It felt too much of a victory to find all those figures and not take them home. And as I'm checking out, I see to the corner of my eye, this dude walking up to me, and sure enough, he found a bazooka. He walked up to me like this. Meanwhile, the cashier, she's just looking at us like, what the hell's going on here? She said, were you gonna get that one too? I said, yes, please. Ah! Oh! And then I thanked the guy one more time and he just walked off. The fact that he didn't say, you're welcome, no problem, any time. He just walked off like a badass in a Western film that just shot his opponent. <whistles> and then the cashier chick is like, do you collect these? I said, yes. The cashier ends up telling me that her dad is actually a collector too, and he gets an adrenaline rush every time he goes out and hunts for these things. So overall, I gotta say guys, it was just an amazing toy hunt that I experienced that night. It was a last minute trip rushing to the local Target, blasting 80s rock with that adrenaline hitting your veins, saying, am I gonna find this shit and take it home tonight? Or am I gonna walk out those Target doors with a lonely stench of Starbucks hitting my nose? You never know, it's a 50-50 chance, man. As soon as those figs hit the shelves, people attack. So I was stoked, man. It's a feeling I haven't felt in a very long time. Having a good toy hunt. It's very rare, especially nowadays. We know how it is out there, guys. It's hard out in those streets. You ain't gonna find shit. But with that story being told, I am just stoked to land these two, these two, and this guy who's gonna look incredibly sexy on the Marvel Legends shelf. So I'm not gonna be unboxing all of these today. I'm gonna be unboxing just the two Joes you see here. These two I'm gonna save for separate videos. I got some plans with the Snake Eyes and Timber. And of course, I like to open up Marvel Legends on separate videos since they are separate genres. And let's get to playing with some Joes. Now I know, I know a lot of G.I. Joe fans are like, what the hell is this? A lot of people are pissed off they didn't get the red jersey. 
However, me, I'm very new to a lot of these characters, so if I just see a figure that looks really beautiful, it's a new character that I get to explore, that I get to learn about, I'm going to get it. I don't care if the jersey's red or white, original, non-original. I think I'm going to collect almost every single one of these Joes if I get the chance, and especially if I hunt them down. And even though uh, they're not the original versions, I can always create other Joes by having these bodies, you know, by repainting the shirt, switching out the head sculpt. Uh, there's always so much to do, even though it's not the original figure. So I will be getting the original bazooka when it comes out with the red jersey. We're going to open up Rakondo first. Uh, I, and I just want to say, man, Rakondo here, right off the bat, this guy's a badass, okay? He looks like a badass with his manly... Uh, mustache. Rakondo is an expert in jungle warfare and jungle survival, which is cool. That means this guy is used to getting dirty, man. He don't mind sleeping in the jungle with the snakes, the tigers, you name it. He is a badass, and I had to add this one to the collection. He is a recon commando, so you'll see him slithering around in the jungle, perhaps sneaking up on a Cobra Viper or someone from the Cobra Operations, and slicing their neck with his nice little machete he's got going on. I really admire his box art with the sun, the helicopter, the palm trees. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to save that box art. I'm definitely going to save that box art. <sighs> smells good. It smells new. He's got his backpack here. Look at that dope hat we got there. This knife right here, that <laughs> it looks like you'll cut your head clean off. Got a nice little pistol. And of course, his rifle wrapped up in some bandages right here, whatever, like to give him that grip. That's cool. That's something I haven't seen yet. We'll go ahead and fix him up, adding his accessories. But first, let's go ahead and open Bazooka. Gotta love the box art on Bazooka too, as you can see. There he is, blasting his bazooka away. He is part of the Tiger Force as well. Get you a cool look at that box art before we destroy it. I don't think I'm going to save that one too much. Who knows? I, like, I'm trying to think of things that you can do with these the, the side of these boxes with just this particular piece right here. Maybe you can make like a collage, a wall, something. That, I think that would be super dope to have on a shelf. But um, I've already thrown away most of my G.I. Joe boxes, so... I, I can't do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you smell even better. That is a hefty figure, bro. That's a that's a bulky guy there. And of course, the great, the almighty, the bazooka. So I'm going to fix these guys up here. Get their accessories going and we'll talk about them a little bit. I literally just had Rakondo's hat. You know when you drop a figure piece... And it hits the floor and it goes, thung, flies in a completely random direction. Now I have to do an entire search around the perimeter of the room to see where the hell's hat went. Shit is gone, bro. You son of a bitch. It fell in a bag of action figures that were under the desk. I gotta say, these guys are pretty sweet right out of the package, man. I'm really digging Rakondo's look with his hat. He's got his rifle, he's got his backpack. He looks ready for the jungle. Bazooka, he's bulky, he's huge. He comes with a great deal of accessories too uh, that all attach to his backpack. So I attached his backpack here, which has uh, each individual missile that fits right into the backpack in their own individual slots. And then lastly, he has a hook, uh, a set of two hooks here for his bazooka to sit on nice and secure. Rakondo's long machete fits perfectly into his holster here. Um, they provided a nice little slit in the back, so it's not hard to jam it into uh, the pouch. So that's good. His pistol fit nicely right in front, uh, with his vest right there. And the backpack looks good on him too. I like how they share the same uh, the pants, the type of uniform, since they are Tiger Force. The boots are nice, but I'm going to go with Rakondo's boots that are more detailed because it's like multicolored. Looks like he has two shades of like brown. These legs are indeed. Well, wait a minute. What the hell? Okay, so Bazooka is not pinless. Rakondo is pinless on the legs. Of course, if you take off the hat that I lost, like a jackass, um, we have 
his long hair looking slick. Wow, bazooka looking real good with the bazooka. A couple of fun facts about bazooka. His favorite thing of all is football, of course, uh, given that he wears a jersey. He played football in high school, which is cool. He, he kind of reminds me of like a jock type of soldier. And he loves his bazooka so much that he actually sleeps with it. He is indeed a missile specialist, so he knows what he's doing with that big gun there. I'd say he's a good guy to have on the team if you got any tanks to deal with or any armored vehicles heading your way. Bazooka's got the job done. All right, folks, that is going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this glorious hunt, as it was indeed a glorious hunt. It was one of the best ones I've had in a long time, so I was happy to share it with you guys. And the fun is endless, to be honest, man, because we're, we're just going to keep having Joes come our way from Hasbro. Um, we're going to get repaints. Yeah, that sucks. But hey, at the end of the day, you can do something else with those repaints in the future when you do get the original uh, character uniforms. So uh, you can create custom Joes yourself, man. You can make other characters like, you know, what if you have Stallone or uh, Mr. T, anyone. You can like create your own 80s heroes out of these G.I. Joe bodies if you got the creativity and imagination. And with that being said, folks, I hope you enjoy your figs. I hope you enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. Peace!